It's me Liz with 143 Handmade and I am here to do the, um, I can't remember what the hashtag is, but it's a true trash junk journal. This is obviously the box that the um, Nintendo Switch sports game came in. So all I'm going to do is open this up like so. And so now I have this nice flat box. I'm going to go ahead and peel these bits of paper off real quick. So, and let's see. I'm going to also go ahead and cut off. Let's see, this flat for sure. Because that's going to be the spine. So we certainly don't want that little floppies on there. You know, when I make one of these true trash junk journals, I rarely have a plan when I first get started. I just kind of start, and then it, it just kind of evolves. Yeah, see, these are awfully thick. Sometimes I will leave the flappies on and, and just bend them over as um, pockets or tucks. But sometimes they're just, it's the, the cardboard's awfully stiff. You can get a much straighter line here if you use a, a ruler. I'm not that concerned with that because that little swoopy that I made, that's going to all be covered up in the end anyways, I'm sure. So, but yeah, if you grab a ruler and lay it across there, you do get a straighter line. Or you can get a straighter line doing it that way. Um, you know, there's a million different ways to cut cardboard. So, use the one that's most comfortable for you. You can totally use scissors here, too. Um, I find that the knife is actually easier on my hands than the scissors. But that's just, you know, it's just me and my hands. Um. So... I, let's see, what am I, there we go. So now I have the cover all cut out, and then what I did is I just took this packaging paper, and it's got a little few, a few little paint smudges on it from, from being um, on the desk when I've used, you know, and used, I did use part of it as um, uh, fodder paper, and I was, yeah, see like this, I was trying out my texture paste which I'm going to do another video on that here real soon because I just made some homemade te texture paste did not purchase it because texture it's hard to find in stores local to me and um, it seems awfully it's it's very expensive to have shipped because it's heavy so but yep yeah, so I was just going to pop those in there I'm just going to use my my big bite to punch the holes Come on, slide back over. Thank you. So opening this up to the center. There we go. I'm not at all concerned about these papers being aligned up and down or any of that. Um, I figure what this junk journal will end up being for is us. We we play a fair amount of Nintendo together um, as a family. We play, um, we'll be playing the sports more once we get the new controllers, but our, um, the motion controls are kind of messed up on the controllers that we have, so the sports is not working so good, but we actually do play quite a bit of, um, Mario Party, and this way we can, um, keep track of that, you know, and I know it keeps track of it some too, but it doesn't, like, you know, make notes about the snacks and that kind of stuff like we can if we do it this way so i'm gonna go ahead and clamp it on there you know roughly where i want it again this is just an actual junk journal so i'm really not concerned with you know straight up and down or or any of that okay actually i am gonna flip it over and i'm gonna punch the holes from this way because that way i do have this straight line to follow and i just know that i'm working closer to this edge than that edge um because I'm going to put a secondary spine, or not spine, um, set of signature pages in there 
when I have more to put in because <laughs> um, I don't have any more junk right now to put in here. So that's three, four, or that's three. This will be four. four. that'll be down far enough. Yeah. Yeah, that's down far enough. Okay, so I'm gonna push that aside. Shove that out of the way. Open my drawer over here. And find that my hemp is not right where I left it, of course. Or right where I thought it was, so I'm gonna have to dig around a little bit. Oh, here it goes. Found it. So here we are. This is just some some hemp, and um, I'm gonna do essentially the, the same kind of stitch as the pamphlet stitch, but I just add more holes. But you still you don't need um, you still only need just a little over three times the amount of string. So so um, start from the inside, going out it over and I just do back and forth through the holes nothing nothing super complicated anybody can do this if you can punch a hole you can do this you know and these are very oversized holes I like to do that so that way you know I have options and then once you work your way down, you just work your way back up, going the opposite direction. And so all the holes that you came out of before, you'll be going down, you know. And all the ones that you came up in, you'll be coming, you know, be doing the opposite of what you did on the way down. <laughs> but as you can see, I ended up with way too much thread, and that's okay. I'd rather have too much than not enough. And I like to pull it snug, and then just tie a knot. And that really is all there is to it, to making a true junk journal, you know. And then, obviously, from here, you can take it so many different directions, depending on what, you know, ephemera you put in here, what your purpose is going to be for it. All of those things, you know, drastically impact, you know, your next steps here. So, um, there we go. I popped my little clippies off. And now we have... These pages bound in. I scrolled it over a little weird, but that's okay. I am so not going to worry about it. I got these half pages and you know whole pages, more half pages. So there we go. But yeah, I'll be adding another um, set of pages as I get some more junk to put in there, as we need more space, or I might just end up um, putting a pocket in the back with like a pad of paper in it. I don't know, we'll see how we actually use this. I'm gonna go put this over by our, our switch and we'll see, you know, like I said, how we actually end up using it and I will adjust it from there. But the reason why I did not center the holes is because um, I just, I really thought that I would put a second a second set of, of pages back here. That's, that's what my plan is, but uh, there's no reason to, you know, punch into it until I have the pages. I like punching the holes through the pages and the binding at the same time. That way I don't have to measure anything. The holes are aut automatically punched the same. So thank you so much for joining me for this quick little tutorial on, or walkthrough, I guess, or I don't know what you would want to call that because that really wasn't much, but this was just a super quick, true trash junk journal. Thank you so much.